from Senator Blackburn. Motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Son, uh, thank you for your time yesterday and thank you for being with us again. Um, a couple of things I want to discuss uh, that I didn't get to yesterday. Uh, in your past careers, you've made it your job to go after certain companies in the telecom industry, and you've particularly been harsh with internet service providers. And in 2019, you tweeted, and I'm quoting the tweet, big tech companies are under enormous scrutiny while big telecom and cable and deregulated and consolidated. What's missing is the enormous amount of money big telecom and cable are spending to ensure that the focus stays on tech and not them. Even in your testimony that you submitted to us, you suggest that regulated entities are the ones making false and misleading attacks, and I'm quoting you there, on your record because they fear you your choice of terms. So how can we believe you will be impartial if an issue involving any of these companies comes before you as a commissioner? Yeah, first I would say that every single industry player who I've criticized I've also worked with. And not long before I got nominated, uh, I worked closely with Verizon and Comcast and AT&T to get the emergency broadband benefit, uh, to get a letter together to support the emergency broadband benefit. So I've worked with these companies. And as I said to Senator Vance, a proceeding at the FCC is constrained. You have to follow the record, decide based on the record, using the procedures, outlining the administrative procedure. Okay, then and yes, let me let me uh, ask you about sure. that and where you're going with that response. And I saw your response to Senator Vance. So if you're leaning into this component that your background, as you say in your testimony, uh, your background as an advocate, uh, your choice of words there, and you suggest that that is what makes you a good commissioner. That is going to help make you a good commissioner. If being an advocate is what positions you to do this job, then why should we think you would act differently in this job when you are a commissioner? Well, because as a policy, I know that the role of a policymaker is different than the role of an advocate. And just let me also say, I really only ask to be treated like other nominees for the FCC. We've had nominees for the FCC, including my former boss, who worked for two industries. And he was a very, very uh, fervent advocate for his industries. Chairman Pai okay. worked for Verizon. And I'm sure he was a very fervent advocate for Verizon. So I'm, okay. I'm just okay, asking then. to be treated the same way, Senator. OK, uh, let's look at it a different way. You were named a top lobbyist by The Hill in 2012 and 2013. So do you consider yourself a lobbyist or do you consider yourself an advocate? I haven't been registered as a lobbyist for years. And that just, in fact, I was registered as a lobbyist very briefly. But okay. I, when I ran public knowledge, I stopped going to The Hill. So it didn't make any sense. And that Hill lobbyist, best lobbyist, doesn't mean that you are registered as a lobbyist. It just means you're a good advocate. So I was very proud okay. of that distinction. All right. I checked on the number of filings that you signed your name to at the FCC. And filings and proceedings, it was nearly 150 that you had signed your name to. You said you will voluntarily recuse yourself from some broadcast issues if confirmed. However, you also participated in proceedings on many other topics ranging from net neutrality to universal service and intercarrier compensation. Once again, as we look at this, whether the work is as a, an advocate or a lobbyist or a term you've discounted activist, should you be recusing yourself from all of this variety of issues 
that are going to come about uh, issues you've previously signed your name to, to filings and proceedings. Would you be recusing yourself from all of those? Yes, Senator, I addressed this quite at length in the February 9th hearing, and I'll just repeat myself. My voluntary recusal was an attempt to address the concerns, and we heard them again today, that people had over my participation on the Sports Fan Coalition New York board, which ran lowcast. Yeah. So I voluntarily recused myself at the nexus of the work I had done previously at the FCC, not at the FCC, as an advocate working at the FCC, uh, and the low caste board. Okay, so that's why I voluntarily recused to address those specific concerns. What you're asking for is not tethered to anything other than just every single issue out there. And again, I just want to no, be treated, I I treated I would the same. I disagree with that. These are tethered to statements you've agreed with and filings that you have signed your name to. So it is relevant. I see my time yes. is over, but Thank you. this Thank you. this does have an impact. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.